Hello everybody, this is Budrich and this video is Thunar Apply Layout The File. Yeah, so let's start now. We got our plan. Now all we need is the file, right? And then we are done. I have extended the to-do list a bit here. Create the rules file. That's the first topic here. That's uh, today's video. And we need to, well, create the file, uh, determine a file location, uh, that location we will store that in an environment variable and talk a bit about that we also need to create a default file in case our deed rules file doesn't exist and right now i have opened my personal dot file for this uh, deed rules and i think let's do this let's copy this and then i will close this file and uh, create a new one here in the thunar directory um, deal rules I just copy the content there uh, we will now in this example we don't need all of these directories here and all this complicated list here uh, as it stands now I'm thinking three directories can be enough for us uh, for this uh, 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 to test with to start with and let's have one uh, git directory in, in the home folder and the home, home directory itself and a default rule which I specify as a dot here. We get back to, to the syntax and stuff for this uh, uh, config file and then we can comment all of these old rules out. Maybe we, we, can, we need them for reference later. Uh, old rules, whatever. Okay, but now we have only specified the patterns here. Let's also specify rules. And I'm, this is another thing. Let's start with only using this uh, to set uh, the view to icon or list view. Let's uh, skip the, the other uh, uh, other views. Um, whoops. Uh, and this home folder can also be icon view. And this, the default rule can be list. Now we have our file. Should have made a, a, a one here, create file, so I could check something off, but whatever. We have our file, let's not uh, uh, think so much more about that. But uh, to use this file, to parse it, we uh, really need to know where the file is. And right now it's really difficult here to explain where this file is. It's weird, but um, I'm thinking uh, that uh, we, 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 we could keep our file in um, .config slash thunar. And this is a directory that is created by thunar and xfce. This may or may not be uh, a smart thing to do, you know, because you never know uh, how a program uses these config directories. Maybe it will just remove all the config files in there when it uh, reinstalls or whatever. This is not super reliable, but we do it anyway, because we can. Uh, and it is... Uh, it, it, I haven't had any issues with this program and no other program either. Another way could be to, to create our own directory here in, in the config uh, folder also, call it Thunar Apply Rules uh, Configs or whatever. But since Thunar already have, as I have discussed, uh, config files all over the place, you know, it's, it's several different directories just to set the default settings in Thunar and we haven't started talking about themes and, 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 and key combinations and stuff because that's a bunch of different files. So what I do is that I, I zoom link uh, uh, all config files or create them directly in this uh, Thunar directory. Where did it go now? There it is at the top. So um, I'm thinking that the default location for this uh, deed rules file could be uh, home slash dot config slash thunar slash deed rules 
It may or may not be a good idea, but that's what we're gonna stick to, at least now, in this video. So, uh, let's just write it down here. Uh, Thunar slash deed rules. Save. And as you can see, right now, there doesn't exist a file called call that. And this is also very good to, to, to do this, to test if the file exists, and if it doesn't exist, then we will create a default file and place it there. Otherwise, we cannot use this uh, stuff at all. Um, next here now also, we in this video, we will use... Um, yeah, no matter how, how we do this, it, it gets uh, hairy, you know, so... We will also create, uh, uh, we have our launch FM script here that uh, starts Thunar, you know, and it uh, looks here with the uh, get ops to see which container to, uh, to start Thunar in and stuff. Uh, but I don't think we should use this to update Thunar. And th this might change here in the future videos how we do this, so let's just do it. We will create a new script called update FM that will up, update Thunar, and that will uh, test the rules and stuff here. We just need a, a, a script, that's, that's what I'm trying to say. So, update fm.sh, create a shebang, usr, bin, and bash. Echo, this is from update. Save make that file executable update fm .sh. test the script update fm this is from update it works we have a script to work with here and uh, this, this will be included this is like the, the github directory so the bo both this and the deed rules file here uh, that, that we create now will be included at in github but you may or may not have to move files may, uh, to your path and so on <clears throat> okay uh, and this update fm uh, command here we execute that when we change title here now in Thunar uh, IPC. So let's enable our sub process call again. And uh, this command that we commented out that we were so happy that we didn't need anymore. Now we need it again. Uh, and of course there, there are millions of ways to, to, do, to do this now. And there is no official. We, we are so far off the path of uh, doing things clean and officially, so th this is dirt hack territory, you know. Um, okay. Now, when Thunar updates, it sets the title format to a new title and it will also execute this command, which currently only exists of the string update fm. So if we run this uh, um, IPC start here now in debug mode, meaning that uh, that uh, 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 this line is commented out, this line is uncommented, so we get the output here. Get the window notify icon uh, uh, text here when the title changes of a window. No getting around that for now. We have the Thunar. We navigate directory here now. Window uh, updates uh, with uh, title format updates, but we also get now you see here. This is from update This is from our script here So now we have something to work with um, Our update script uh, to be able to parse the file and stuff. Uh, let's get back to this create file create default location yeah, every time we update now, it will ping this script, and that script will uh, needs the path, uh, uh, the folder here, the title format. We will pass that to the script. The script uh, will compare that with the D rules file. Uh, so uh, first and foremost, we need to make sure that this file exists. But let's also add um, an argument here to to the command from Python, since we have our um, title here we just pass that as an argument 
uh, if we load the Python script, change directory in Python. This is from update, it's no change here now, but now we actually have this dollar uh, uh, one. The first argument to our update fm command here now is actually the directory. Nice, nice, nice. And, and also, did you see that I didn't need to reload anything now? Now we can just add stuff here to our script here. Yeah, 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 yeah. And change directory and it will use the updated version of the script without us needing to uh, reload the, the listener script or anything. I, I also kind of like this workflow uh, and it's, a, it's one benefit uh, by using Python IPC like this uh, executing a, a an external shell command, but it's, there are also drawbacks. What, whatever. This is how we do it. This is how we do it. Um, checking for file existing. Okay, maybe we should add some comments here also. Uh, compare dollar one the path. against file if file doesn't exist create it okay so first off the the path to the file which we wrote down you know uh, it's uh, the uh, uh, how should we write this? Let's do this. F D rules. F for file. I, I, I don't know. And then the path we currently have is this config thunar D rules. There are a couple of problems with this. One is, uh, yeah, we we'll probably get, get it there. Yeah, tilde does not expand in quotes. So Tilde is, is a special uh, thing in bash and stuff and it, it kind of works if we would remove the quotes here I think it would expand it to the home folder but then we kind of need the, the quotes in case we have spaces in a directory and stuff so it's, it's almost always better to use this the environment variable home which is the same thing as the tilde you know. Um, to store the, the directory and this brings me to the next uh, we kind of got the file location here now environment variables because home is an environment variable we can see it if we execute the command export we will get the list of all uh, currently uh, all environment variables in this environment we can see here color term rxvt there are editor vim lo lots of weird uh, stuff here and these environment variables are all uh, available and we can see home here also probably there is home directory and there's one that's called uh, here pwd that is the currently open directory in this environment all of these environment variables are available in uh, 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 in um, the scripts and stuff and these are also available in for example python scripts they are available in awk commands and stuff they are very useful uh, and we will use environment variables now a bit we can also see this environment variable xdg underscore config underscore home is equal to yeah the home directory dot config and this is kind of the official way to write the dot config directory but it is not a mandatory thing. This may or may not be set on your system. It's highly, highly recommended that this is set, but it's, uh, I make quotes now, up to the user to set this uh, uh, environment variable. And I'm pretty sure that most uh, desktop environments uh, have this set, like uh, if you have GNOME or XFCE or whatever, it probably, sets this automatically and probably many distributions like for example Manjaro if you run Manjaro i3 I don't know now but I my guess is that that will automatic automatically configure these things 
But if you are like me, who just run uh, stupid arc with stupid i3, you know, I'm a meme, I'm a, I don't know what I'm doing. Then this is not set by default, you have to set it yourself, and there are different ways to do so. It doesn't really matter, because that's what we're going to look into now, how to set default values for an environment variables. The home environment variable, that is always set, that you, you don't have to worry about that, that is taken care of by the shell and, and everything. So you don't need to, a default value for this. But instead now of, of writing writing this, uh, fd rules is home.config, we will use fd rules is equal to this environment variable, thunar deed rules. But as I just mentioned, you never know if this is set or not. You, you of course, you know on, on your own uh, computer, you know if this is set or not, but who knows, you know, maybe you want to, to send this incredible uh, layout script to a friend or something, and then it may or may not work. But it's very easy to set a default value for an environment variable in case it doesn't exist. Um, yeah, we can test it here in this script. Let, let's make a short demo here on how to set default values for a variable because it doesn't mean it doesn't have to be a, a, an environment variable. You know the classic fun example var one hello echo var one. I, I I really like this. You know this is my favorite uh, example. I run this script uh, and it just says hello because that is var one, you know. But what if var we don't set var one here and do an echo? We just get an empty string, right? Because yeah, the var one doesn't have a value. We can set a default value in case it is not set, uh, and then you write colon dash and uh, default wh whatever you know and now it says default whatever it, it we, we get this uh, uh, default string here but what if we again here do echo bar one what do we get now what do you think we get nothing. We get the default string the first time because var1 is not set. Then we try to echo var1 again, but we, now we get nothing because var1 is not set. But what we can do is instead of uh, using the dash here, you can use use equal sign. And this has a completely or com a, a different meaning because now it will uh, both echo the default string here, but it will also uh, set the, the variable with the missing uh, with the missing uh, value it will have now have this default value so we get this instead but if if the value or variable have a value for example now we set it to hello then we get hello hello it it, it never uh, neither prints this default or set it to the variable only if the variable is empty or unset and this is how you can set a, a, a default va a value for an environment variable, for example, xdg config home here. Then you do it like this xdg config home, the name of the environment variable, is equal to xdg config home. But if it's not set, set it to this default value here. And you need to put this default value thing and stuff inside curly brackets in, in, in this fashion. There is uh, a, 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 a nice little uh, bash hack that you can use because now xdg config home, xdg config home, duplication, stupid line in a way. You can write this line like this and it will work exactly the same. Um, when you're not echoing, when you're not using the variable at all, just setting a default or testing for default, then I like to use this because it's more readable, it's shorter. Well, maybe it is not more readable because it's also a bit cryptic. 
but you can write it like this and we will do that now. So now this will work uh, and this will work and we can instead of echoing bar one here we can echo our fd rules and it echoes the home uh, bud.config whatever. I know uh, a lot of things here, environment variables are a bit weird and the thing is I actually think that we should store our uh, the, 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 the path to this file. Let's not just have a normal variable in our script. Let's create an environment variable for this file uh, so we can set it from outside this script and have it like a permanent, permanent value in case we, we want to move it somewhere. And that's actually a very good idea to do for, for things like this. When you create your own config files and stuff, it's good to store uh, the value for that in uh, an environment file or an environment variable. Because, uh, yeah, you never know when you need to access that file from a different script and so on. So on then you can always use these environment variables. So uh, let's do it again colon and now we, we we can name our environment variable whatever we want but uh, it is you should use all caps like cap uh, as you can see all the environment variables have all cap uh, uh, characters separate words in a variable uh, environment variables with uh, underscore this is the standard way you should use this, but it's not mandatory. You can create lowercase environment variables, but don't do that. So let's call this Thunar uh, Deed Rules File. And it's also very good to, to create these stupid long uh, names for them, just so you know what, what the environment, when you run this export command, for example, it, it can be really difficult to, what was this F, FD rules? Yeah, or whatever we call it from the start. Use long verbose names for envir environment variables. I'm, I'm not a fan of long verbose environment variables myself or uh, variable names myself, but this is a special case when, when you're using um, mention syntax error was in this town. We have some syntax error here. Thunar D rules files equal uh, missing a quote here. There, now it works. So now we have um, created our own environment variable, but first we also make sure that xdg config home is, is set there. And we need to do this before uh, we set the default for our, our own <laughs> environment variable. Otherwise, yeah, you, I think you get it. Of course, you could bake this in, you know, instead of having these on different lines, we could set the default value for xdg config home here, inside here, but that just get uh, cluttered and, and ugly. It's, I like to do it like this. And we do it like this now. And if I run the script now, we get an empty echo because we don't have any uh, FD rules variable. Yeah, that's that was the name. You know, imagine seeing that in that export list when you're searching for for this. It's because most of the time, lunar D rules file. Most of the time, you set set an environment variable and then you probably not look at it until maybe the next install and maybe not even that. You know whatever we have our environment variable we have this now uh, we need to test here if this file exists and you know it doesn't exist uh, can do a test like this dash f meaning file exists and uh, the file we are testing for is Thunar D rules file. Uh, if this file doesn't doesn't exist, you could write this statement like this. Then uh, let's do an echo. Doesn't exist. What, whatever. Doesn't exist. Why do I get an? 
Ah, thank you, base linter. Update FM doesn't exist, but we, it still prints the, the file down here in the echo. So, and now uh, let's create a default file in case it doesn't exist. I haven't really explained this, but uh, the default rule here is just a dot and the default or the default dir pattern. This will match any directory. And this could be the default rule then, a dot and an L. And that means that a default file could contain just a dot, a space and an L. That's enough to create a, 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 a D rules file that, and that will match any directory. So we, we will do that now. Uh, whoops. Uh, boop, 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 update FM if the file doesn't exist. And uh, God damn it. then echo uh, dot space L. That's enough to the file. Let's put it in quotes also. Thunar deal rules file. Save. Execute the command. It just echoes the path here. But as you can see here now, it also created this deal rules file in the .config thunar directory here. I open that. And we can see it only have a dot and an L just as we set as the default. But uh, what I think uh, we should do is uh, copy uh, our th this instead to have in the, because just the dot and the L it, it will almost get too cryptic to work with that now. So here I paste this into this uh, dot config slash thunar. Save it and now it looks like this. Could also uh, test our update FM um, echo file does, doesn't uh, exist. Save do update FM again. We get nothing now, uh, or it doesn't say this because the file now exists. And if we wanted to, we could also do a cat here to print the con content of that file. Update FM, and you see now we get this, uh, it, it cuts out. If I would change this file, which is this one, to whatever, it will now cut out that stupid string here. So now we know it works. We have set our default file and created it and whatever, you know. This is uh, uh, enough for this video. Now we have something to work with. Next video, we, we, we start creating this parser that will read the file and, and compare, it, compare the directory against this pattern list here. And that will be done in awk. Have a great day. Thank you for watching. Bye 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 bye.